This is Twit. For the first time in history, yes, we have a commercial crew flying above what we traditionally think of as low Earth orbit, you know, the 180 miles or so that the space station's at, uh, up higher than Gemini 11 did, which is yeah, a record. big, big milestone. An, an orbital record. You know, they say the highest since Apollo, but Apollo left orbit. So if you're just talking about Earth orbit, this is a big deal. Not a place you want to get stranded out at, at, at 870 miles altitude, at least for the Apogee. And um, first commercial spacewalk, and what else? Well, you got you got the uh, the highest space flight by uh, female astronauts. Uh, you got the first commercial spacewalk by a female astronaut. I mean, you got all these things. There's all these things uh, in this mission. We're, of course, talking about Polaris Dawn. SpaceX's latest commercial flight and the latest uh, flight uh, brokered by brokered fin financed by bought uh, by by tech Jared billionaire Isaacman. <laughs> by Jared. And by the Isaacman. way, this story is from space.com. Let's not forget. Yeah, this All is from space. But everybody and yeah. their mother were covering this story, and it was a very long day uh, yesterday because they did the spacewalk. Yesterday. No whining. No, I'm not whining. I'm just saying it was a long day. It was great. It was great. Yeah. But um, you know, since. Um, since we last spoke, since our last episode, SpaceX launched this mission uh, earlier this week as we're recording this. Uh, they reached that highest altitude that Rod was talking about. That was like on their first day in space. Uh, then they did some uh, kind of earth to ground uh, test. They, you know, kind of, they, let's see, they, they read a book from space that one of the crew members wrote. Uh, but there, got, excuse me, but we're, uh, if, if you're on the video stream, we've got this great ghostly silhouetted shot of is that isaacman I think? that is isaacman uh when he first went Doing outside stand up eva yeah and so a stand up eva this is really important they, they didn't float all the way outside like the astronauts on the international space station uh when they do work and whatnot whatnot they stuck most of their upper body and so they were kind of standing on little foot restraints sticking out of the hatch of of dragon and this was a feat in of itself because it wasn't just the spacewalkers that who stuck their heads outside that were at risk. It was the entire crew of this four person team. It's Jared Isaacman, the commander, who is the first person out the door, uh, Sarah Gillis, mission specialist, and uh, a SpaceX engineer uh, who also went outside uh, after Isaacman. Then you had the pilot, Scott Poutit, uh, who was the, I guess, the mission director of Inspiration 4, Isaacman's pr previous flight, and uh, another SpaceX opera, uh, uh, engineer. Uh, Anna Menon, who uh, is the one that wrote the book uh, Kisses from Space for her kids that she read uh, as well. But they were all in these brand new SpaceX suits, which you can see if you're on the, the video stream, uh, Isaacman uh, about to run. They, he actually tested all the flexibility. Uh, can they stand on the foot restraints with their hands free and but, doing things? And can I just jump in with a point? These are EBA suits. Yeah. So the main reason, the main difference being uh, until now, SpaceX and now Boeing have used pressure suits, which are mm -hmm. designed in case there's an emergency. These are designed specifically for going outside the spacecraft, maintaining pressure, being nimble as much as possible. And given the bulkiness of the Boeing suit and what we've seen from NASA and the space station days, these things are very svelte. I mean, the, he looks th thinner than me in street it, clothes. Which it is looks like a, sci like a science fiction yeah. space suit. It, it really like does. A, like, it actually looks a lot like the... Uh, spacesuits from this the star trek motion picture anyway yeah and, 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 and including the helmets the helmets are, it's the same helmets yeah. they've got different different tints on them to keep the the sun and, and, and other uh i think like a uh, uv out and everything but it was it was pretty amazing for an hour and 46 minutes and that starts from o2 uh flow basically is how spacex measured it not from when they opened the hatch uh this this crew uh was exposed to the vacuum of space uh isaacman and uh, Sarah Gillis spent, I think, on the average of seven to ten minutes apiece. This is uh, Sarah Gillis as she's climbing out, if you're on the video stream, uh, as she was climbing up out of the hatch. They had this new kind of handrail thing they called a Skywalker uh, that kind of just juxtaposed. Ju 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 wait, what's the word? It stuck out. <laughs> it, oh, jutted. Yeah. Jutted, jutted. That's the word that You're jutted welcome. out from the the hatch that they could they could uh, stand on, and then there were foot restraints as well that they could uh, beat their feet in so that that they could uh, uh stand and test all of the mobility it was very interesting to watch because it was very methodical but isaacman did say one thing he said uh to spacex that uh we have a lot of work to do uh at home 
but that Earth, you know, from his vantage point, looked like a perfect world. And I thought it was a nice touch because most of their 10 minutes apiece was really focused on the mobility tests of it. Right. So they didn't really wax poetic very much about the experience. But this proved that SpaceX can do spacewalks, that a company can build a, a spacesuit, uh, uh, you know, that can perform in space. And while it might seem like a stunt, a tourist trip, this is a skill that not just SpaceX, but uh, Axiom Space, Sierra Space, uh, uh, Vast. We were just talking uh, to Max Hout uh, in our last episode. They need these skills to build yeah. their future space stations, to build their future commercial uh, bases or whatever. And this is the first step to show that it's possible. And it seems to have gone off without a hitch. So I just have to say, again, you know, cruising social media last night. And, and when I say cruising, I don't mean, you know, that I was looking for people that have a similar interest in poodles or something. I was looking at space stuff. And there was a surprising amount of snark and pushback and lack of charitable discussion about, oh, all they did was stand up. Oh, oh all they did was this, all they did was that. And so I finally... You know, I try not to jump in too often because I really don't have any interest in arguing with most of these people because they're dingleheads. But <laughs> in this case, you know, I said, look, um, you might want to cut the guy a break. He built the first world's first private air force, which he, he leases out. Uh, he it has engaged the first two private space flights of their type that didn't go to the space station. And in this particular one, you know, let's look at the record book, Altitude. The women, the size of the crew, first exposed to a vacuum since Skylab, you know, on and on and on. And this is a lot of stuff for just some dude to do because normally you have a government behind you for these things. And he's doing this as his hobby, which is well, very impressive. And, and, and he's raising money for St. Jude yes. Children's Research Hospital uh, yes. to fight pediatric cancer. So that's like a whole other thing. But we really need to put this into perspective because it I, it's very easy to see how some people can just look at this billionaire uh uh you know you know space fan and think that this is a stunt a spacewalk and i credit jim Banky for telling me this as a cub space reporter all those decades ago he told me that when any astronaut goes out in a spacewalk you get your feet off the desk you put your pepsi down and you pay attention because and that's that's a direct quote by the way because spacewalks are the most dangerous thing an astronaut can do in space because there is nothing between them and that vastness of the vacuum between them and instant death. We've seen close calls, right? Luca Parmitano almost drowned in his spacesuit. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen people have emergency pressure issues and, and rips and they've had to go back inside. This is dangerous. These are brand new spacesuits. They tested everything that they could on the ground in uh, in vacuum chambers. And right. Stuff. They built but like that. Still, a, stuff but, but happens. You don't, you don't know. And it was four people, not just Isaacman sticking his head out. There's no airlock on this spacecraft. They depressurized like the whole thing. It was empty. If they couldn't get that hatch closed again and sealed, you know, that could be all she wrote, right? Uh, and those things get back down in time. And I'm sure they had an emergency plan for that. So it looks, you know, oh my gosh, it's SpaceX. Look what they can do. Oh, it's a big stunt. You know, meh. No, this is like a dangerous thing. And he did it. And it was amazing, and it looked spectacular because, man, all of those views. Yeah. And so we have to acknowledge that because okay, this is a brother, capability. We're, we're, I'm at, 18, sorry, I'm, I'm we're sorry, at 18 I'm sorry. minutes, and I, we just finished I, story one. All right, all right, I'm, just, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but it's a capability that if yeah. you want to have that sci-fi future in space, this is the capability that you need. It can't just be NASA and Russia and uh, and the, the agencies of the world. China. It has to be the company and China. Yeah, China. that's right. China's um, doing more than Russia is now. And so, so it has to be. It has to. Be, this is a cap. This is just. It's a tool. This is now a tool that these companies can use. And maybe SpaceX is the first one to be the contractor to do it. But someone else is going to do it. Hey, if you enjoyed this clip, be sure to check out this week in space. You can find us on your favorite podcast app or see the link in the description below. See you there.